How to size your breast implants in four steps. Today, I wanna to talk about how we help our patients pick their implant sizes. I personally use a anatomic-based approach to helping patients figure that out. So the first step uh, in our approach is to find out our target, right? We need a target. We wanna know what cosmetic look you're going for. Well, we're gonna take into account volume and the shape. So with volume, we're looking at cup size. We're looking at, is it proportionate to your body or disproportionate to your body? And then with the shape of the breast, we're looking at, is it on the natural side, more of a teardrop, or is it very round and less natural? Second, we need to have your consultation so we can get your measurements. Uh, ours is an anatomic-based approach, and we need to know your anatomy to make that decision. So you need to have a consultation for that one. Third, we then want to know what you want to see in clothes. And this again kind of tailors down on the volume question. How much volume do you want to see in clothes? This will give us uh, the breast volume relative to the rest of your body uh, shape. So is it in line with your hips or is it smaller than your hips? That sort of question. One of the ways that we do that here in our office is with good old fashioned implant sizers. So these are just uh, stackable inserts in a bra. It gives us an idea of the volume you wanna see. And fourth, final step, we've just put all of that together. We actually work backwards. So the volume you wanna see in clothes, does it fit inside your anatomy? And does it create the look that you're going for? And if all the answers are yes to those questions, then we've already picked your implants. The volume will be apparent, the projection will be apparent, and it'll be very easy. Now, what if one of those answers is not yes. Maybe the volume we want to see in clothes doesn't quite fit in our anatomy, or maybe the volume fits, but it doesn't really give us the look that we want. Well, that's where we're going to have to have a conversation. And sometimes we have to pick what is most important to us. What are our priorities? And we, we help you work through that. Another additional step that you may consider, although most of my patients don't, don't use this, is uh, 3D modeling or a simulator. Um, and that will give you an idea of virtually trying on implants. And these are third party sources that you can look up online uh, to use. However, I find that they're not always the most accurate for predicting your final result. So that's it. Our four step process to picking your implant size. It's as easy as that. If you're curious to learn more, check out our other videos or come visit us at our office.